Everybody should have a tripod. I've been looking for a new one for a wee while. Uh, normally if I'm using a big heavy lens like a 500 prime, uh, I've got a big heavy setup, but I need something now that's a bit more lightweight, a bit easier to travel with. So uh, looking at it, I came up with this and it's made by K&F Concept. Probably not a name you've heard of before, but it's well, certainly well worth looking into. This is probably one of the top of the range models that they have. Very compact, obviously comes in a bag, but like anything, you never really use the bag for very long. So the tripod itself is uh, quite a neat little device, if I can get it out of this bag. So you get the usual instructions, etc. with it. There's another short pin here that I'll tell you about in a minute. Uh, there's a strap, etc. But the tripod itself is fairly compact. Look at that, nice, nicely folds up quite nicely. Uh, straps to the side of your camera bag. Great. Comes with a bag over the head. Again, I think that will get discarded fairly, fairly quickly along its time. I've had it now for a wee while, so I've been trying it out, and it, it is. It's very versatile and very strong. It's made of aluminium, uh, but not that heavy. But again, reasonably steady. So obviously it's compact like that. You just fold it out. Dropped in the centre column, and there you have the basic tripod itself. So a cover for the head, take that off, and you've got your standard ball head underneath. Like all tripods, this one's particular one's a three section, it's a screw, so you just screw it. Again, never over tighten these, just keep it it's just enough to keep the, the, the leg solid and and the beauty of this one was when this is fully extended it comes up to my head height I do not like extending the middle leg any height at all so again I'll just open it up and, and let you see it it's just a quick turn Many, a lot of people don't use tripods I see them hand holding it's, the first thing that will improve your photography is a tripod yes they can be a pain in the backside to use but they're, they're well worth having and it will certainly improve a lot what you've got so we're not in a bit of level ground but again it's got the, the buttons on the side which allows you to bring these legs up so we'll just stand like that now it's got the centre column here that um, you can slacken off and it will come up not like that also there's, there's got one or two gimmicks on this one so if you pull it up you can actually turn it push it through and you've got the ball head that you can use from this angle it's quite good actually if you're down low that for uh, shooting macro etc you can get down quite level again because down it goes inside the center column the idea behind that is that this leg comes off you unscrew this clip it on there and then you've got a monopod again i very seldom use a monopod so it won't be something i'm using i was saying about the short piece of metal pin that was in there before one of the biggest drawbacks I find with a tripod is that I can't get them low enough to the ground because of this long centre column. Well, in this case, you can unscrew this one and put the shorter one in, which allows you, when you're down low, you just put press in your legs. Your legs can go right out. Obviously, these would be pulled in, and you're, you're only that height, so you can get right down to the ground. It's got the standard quick-release plate in here, so you just have that on your camera in. It's also got, obviously, the spirit level on the top. Grease plate, you can just snap your lenses in as and when and cameras as you would use them. As I say, I've actually had a 500 prime on here, and it did hold it, but it's not something I would use all the time. I would probably suggest that for safety, sake, your camera falling over, etc., I wouldn't put anything more than a 300, perhaps, on, on this particular model. You could change the head. Uh, as well it's got the standard through it threading inside so that's quite easy to do but all in all it is um, a very robust tripod and to put it down again it's just a quick slacken of the three of them just put them up and you can actually do the three of them to, almost together and it doesn't take a lot of time or a lot of effort to, to put this tripod up and take it back down which is one of the beauties if you're traveling that you don't want to spend ages but it does work and there's what i was saying um, about dropping down see if i want to get down low with that tripod i'm going to be limited by the length of this pin but uh, i'll be changing it for the other one which i'll probably leave on permanently and well that said that's fairly well down low and if again if you want to use your this technique here which is uh, through there you can use that as well which is a fairly 
adequate way of getting down low. You can also use this tripod, you can fix flashes onto there, so if you're shooting you can have the flash extended off um, on there. Uh, and use another tripod set up here with your camera, so you've got off camera flash there. So there's quite a lot of diversity with, with this tripod. And look, the beauty, as I say, it is, it's strong, but it's relatively light. Uh, so if you, you can get them uh, via Amazon, but again, it's, it's a company worth looking at for their KNF concept. And this particular model is the KF-TM2534T. Uh, there are others in the range, uh, but as I say, I think this is one of the higher spec ones. Um, again, as I was saying earlier, you've got that full three-click section where you can put this leg out to, to reach wherever you like. Um, standard quick-release plate on the top, good rubber feet. Again, if you're in doubt on a windy day, it has the hook facility underneath which you just put and you can hook your camera bag or something on the bottom there and that will give you that extra stability but it is, I must admit, I'm quite looking forward to using it more and more during the summer because there's nothing worse than travelling with a big, big heavy tripod uh, or what usually ends up is you end up leaving it in the car and you say, no, it's not worth taking it whereas something like this, it's nice and light, nice and uh, robust and hopefully this will uh, serve me well this summer coming so, any comments, just add them below and I'll try and answer them.